Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and Concealer. I've been wanting to try these products for over a year, but since I found out recently that um, Rimmel has reformulated this foundation, it really got me curious to try it out. I also picked up the concealer and I'm going to go through the claims, how many shades are available, how much these products retail for, and I will also have a demo for you guys. I'm going to go through the claims that Rimmel has on this foundation on their website. It says invisible, mistake-proof foundation for visibly perfected and healthier looking skin. It's weightless. It gives you a smooth texture that blends with skin's real tone instead of masking it. Um, it also says it gives you 24 hour moisture with complex that leaves skin feeling hydrated. And it also has soft focus powers to help reduce imperfections, pores, and dark circles. This foundation comes in 12 available shades. I am not too sure if I'm at the store or at Boots, better saying, I actually saw all 12 shades, but it did have quite a few on the stand. The shade that I have here is 303 True Nude, and you get a one fluid ounce, which is a 30 ml of product, which is the standard amount that you get for any foundation or most foundations on the high street. It comes with a pump, which I can truly, truly appreciate because foundations without a pump are just a pain. Um, and it comes in a glass jar. It's not too heavy. I'm not gonna say it's not travel friendly because if you really like a foundation, regardless if it's plastic, a squeezy tube or glass, you will still take it with you. This foundation has SPF of 20, but I can happily say that it doesn't cause any flashback. I will insert a picture taken from my phone with some flash, and I also have my studio lights on, and it doesn't create any flashback, which is really, really good. Now, for reference, I have oily skin. I'm in my 30s, so I have aging skin, I have fine lines, I have enlarged pores due to my oiliness. And I don't have a lot of stuff to cover, meaning I don't have a lot of scars and stuff like that. My skin is pretty good. I do have breakouts here and there, but it's nothing too major. My main concern or, you know, my main concern is the enlarged pores and my fine lines. I have found that this foundation applies really well with different tools. It applies well with my fingers. It applies well with a brush like a kabuki brush or... Uh, a stippling brush as well, but I personally prefer to apply it with a uh, sponge, a damp beauty sponge and sponge, <laughs> and it works really, really well. From the demo, you can see that it was quite easy to blend. The foundation is not too thick. It has kind of like a creamy consistency and it blends in really, really nice. Now the shade that I have here is 303 True Nude. And I find that this shade is just a tad too dark for me. It's still quite yellow, but it's a little bit dark for my skin tone. Even though in the camera, maybe it's not picking up, I had to drag the foundation down my neck to really blend it in with my skin. I do find that this foundation also has a strong floral scent. So if you are a little bit sensitive for um, of products that actually smell like that, you may not like this foundation. It doesn't linger for a long time, but it is quite noticeable. The moment I was applying the foundation on my face, I could smell it. It's quite pleasant to me. It doesn't give me headache or anything like that, but I know some people are quite sensitive to those things. So I'm just letting you know that the foundation, it, it does have a floral scent. The color range is not too bad. The 12 shades is actually okay for a high street brand, but I find that there are shades missing. The shades don't have a lot of yellow undertone. And for example, the shade that I have here, which I mentioned before several times, 303 Nude, is very similar, if not identical, to the shade 400, which I think it's called Natural Beige they're exactly the same every time i picked the two bottles up i was like there's no difference between these two shades maybe the other one is darker but when you put them side by side they're exactly the same shade so i'm not too sure what has happened there usually in a drugstore foundation i am either a natural beige or um, i'm just beige or i'm uh, golden or warm golden but with this one i'm 
in the shade True Nude. Well, it's the one that worked best for my skin tone, but I feel that from the shade 303 down to 201, there's no shades in between and I feel like there's one missing. I would, I feel like if there was a 250, for example, that one would have matched me perfectly, but I can still make this one work and it looks really nice on the skin. I feel that this foundation gives light to medium coverage, maybe buildable to full, but for me personally, light to medium is perfectly fine because I don't feel like I have a lot to cover. And if I do, I just go ahead and apply a little bit of concealer. The finish of this foundation, I find that it's quite natural. You can still see that you're wearing foundation, but it is natural. Um, it's not cakey at all. It just sits really, really nicely on the skin. And I find that it's not dewy and it's not matte either. It's kind of like in between. So I would say it's maybe a demi matte, matte, a demi matte or satin finish. It doesn't feel tacky and it sets not too quickly so you can still have a little bit of time to work with the foundation and just blend it in really nicely into the skin now when it comes to the poreless claim that they have i do find that my pores are not so visible but it doesn't blur them per se i am wearing a primer that is supposed to blur a little bit or fill in my pores so maybe that has helped as well i see in the mirror when i was applying the rest of my makeup that my pores over here appear a little bit smaller but i can still see them but on my nose it's kind of like blurred they're just like blurred which i really really like i don't i don't like seeing pores everywhere i also have a little bit of pores going on here and on my chin and those ones are quite covered by the foundation so that has really impressed me because one of my main concerns when buying a foundation is that the foundation is not going to sink into my pores and into my fine lines and talking about my fine lines i don't feel like they the foundation sinks into them either underneath my eyes it's it still looks pretty well and throughout the day i find that the foundation sits very nicely also on my smile lines that is one of my concerns a lot of foundations tend to either crack or separate over here or just emphasize my fine lines which is really annoying because i keep going like this with a foundation which is uh, very very annoying but this foundation doesn't do that so that's a great plus for me i also find that this foundation wears really well throughout the day i find that i only start getting a little bit oily maybe around the sixth hour but that's perfectly normal any foundation i have even if it's super mattifying around the sixth hour i need to blot and touch up slightly with a powder so this foundation is no different but it does last really, really well throughout the day. I would say around eight hours. It starts looking a lot more oily. But like I said, if I blot and I set it with the powder, it will last me all the way till I get home. And obviously it's not going to look exactly the same as it did in the morning because I have oily skin. But overall, it lasts really well. Moving on to the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer, which comes in this plastic squeezy tube this retails for five pounds 99 it comes in three available shades which is not too bad but it's not all that good either the shade that i have here is 030 classic beige and the amount of product that you have in here is 0 0.23 or 23 uh, fluid ounces which is 7 ml of product now the shade that I have here is a little bit too light for me. I feel like it's more of a highlighting shade for me instead of concealing. Um, I think I should have gone um, a shade above, but I felt that the shade above was a little bit too pink. So I decided to go for this one. So the claims on the Boots website is that the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer is a two-in-one concealer and a highlighter. It's supposed to banish the signs of fatigue by illuminating the under eye area. It contains an oxygen complex that lets skin breathe. So by reading this, I feel like it's, to me, it's more of a very light coverage concealer that doesn't feel heavy on the under eye area so that it allows your skin to breathe. Now from the demo, you can see that I use the little brush applicator to apply the concealer directly onto my skin and i also highlighted or i use the concealer on the high points of my face like the bridge of my nose and the corners of my nose as well because that's the 
areas where I tend to get a little bit red. I did my chin and I also did my forehead. Now I was really happy to use the um, beauty sponge that I did to apply the concealer but I feel that this concealer doesn't give a lot of coverage. The shade is a little bit too light so as I mentioned before I would rather use this as a highlighter than a concealer per se but it gave me an okay coverage. If I didn't have under eye circles, it would probably work, but because I do have a little bit of under eye circles, I would use a different concealer and then apply this over the top just to highlight. I actually applied a little bit extra on the inner corners of my eye to really get that coverage that I need, and I still feel like it hasn't covered everything that I needed to cover, but it's an okay concealer. I find the consistency a little bit on the drier side so you need to work really quick when using this concealer because I don't feel like it's one of those that it's moisturizing or hydrating. It's more of a concealer that highlights the other eye area rather than concealing. So the concealer that I usually use which is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer is moisturizing hydrating even though I don't think that they claim it to be it doesn't dry my under eye area and I feel that this one does a little bit so I always use it over the top of my regular concealer and bear in mind I don't use this on a daily basis I use it if I'm going out at night or if I'm filming because I want this area to be quite bright uh, when filming so I do use this concealer for that. I don't find it particularly long wearing either I feel that after maybe three hours I have to reapply and usually my concealers last me about five hours and in the inner corners, I always have to reapply concealer, but this one doesn't last all that long. Um, the coverage doesn't stay there for a very long time. It could be because I have oilier skin, but I just feel like it's a concealer that it's not going to last all day, if that makes any sense. You definitely need to carry this with you in your beauty bag so you can reapply throughout the day. So what are my overall thoughts about these two products? I actually really, really like them. Usually when I get foundations that are a little bit off on the shade, I tend to give them away, but I feel like I'm gonna keep this one for when I'm a little bit tanner. Maybe in the summer, springtime, I would say I get a little bit darker. Definitely this foundation can be very, very useful at that time, so I'll definitely keep it. Um, it's a really nice consistency of a foundation, and I also find that it feels a little bit more expensive than it actually is. So yes, definitely recommend. If you have really, really oily skin, please use a primer, mattifying lotion, and a really good powder because it does tend to get slightly on a glowy side, not dewy, not oiliness or anything like that, but it does tend to get a little bit more glowy throughout the day. So yeah, I would still recommend this for either dry or oily skins, I think you'll really like it. When it comes to the concealer, I think you are a little bit limited on the shade. So if you are of a much deeper skin tone, like an NC45, you will not get a concealer for you. If you are pale, maybe, but I would say more medium skin tones will definitely fit, fall in that category. But I think the lighter shade, I'm sure it would suit a lot of pale and fair skin tones. But when it comes to the three shades that are available, I find it a little bit too limited, so I wouldn't recommend this to everyone. But overall, I think they are great products from the drugstore. I do know that a lot of people here in the UK really, really like it, um, but I do feel that um, Rimmel needs to cater a little bit more for olive yellow to olive skin tones and for deeper skin tones. I find that there's always shades for the fairer range of people, but there's not a lot for in between and for deeper skin tones. But overall, great products and yeah, I would definitely recommend at least the foundation. The concealer is like, nah, but you guys know what I mean. So. I really, really hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried these products, if you like them, or if you have any other recommendations for me to try. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll speak to you guys on my next video. Bye.